All right, cohort C, let's begin by taking a look at how well you did at detecting the disease uh, in the disease detectives assignment. Okay, so here's the story. Let's recap. We're aboard our starship, the starship Equinox. We got sent to the planet Akali to help them with their environmental problems because that's kind of our thing. Uh, they kind of kept a detail from us that their planet was under a global pandemic of epic proportions. It was a zombie virus. Uh, you know, they knew if we, if they told us that, we wouldn't be able to beam down and help them. So that, that was a little bit underhanded. Yeah, very much. But we're very forgiving people. We're very helpful. We did our thing. While we were there, they said, uh, you know, we got one more thing we really need your help with. And that's finding out where the virus started. They traced it to a carnival in this small town called Vancouver. Hey, check it out. We have a town called Vancouver, too, uh, here in Washington. And there's one in Canada, not very far from us. But never mind that. Uh, and they traced it to there. But they have all these different attractions and different people that went, but not all of them got infected. So they want us to see if we can figure out a pattern based on the evidence to figure out if there's one place it started or is it going to be way more complicated than that. Uh, it'd be nice if it was just one place. So you know what? We said we will help um, because one of our people got infected. Drake is infected. Healers heal him. And if we can help them come up with a vaccine, whew, He'll be able to fight it off because his immune system will be able to tag the virus with antibodies and antigens. And then the macrophages, those big white blood cells that engulf foreign bodies like viruses and bacteria, can get to work and consume them. Whew, so that's what we need to do. Um, so I'm checking those of you who did it. Not everybody did it. It's kind of sad. But I got to move on. I got to move you guys on because those of you who did it deserve to move on. So let's see what Arissa came up with. By the way, the biggest mistake that people made is right here under corn dogs. A lot of you put yes for Jamie's friends. But if you look at the interview, Jamie's giving the interview because is Jamie infected? No. And Jamie's the one who ate corn dogs. Remember, Jamie in the interview said that Jamie's friends were on the rides and they did not eat corn dogs. Jamie said that's all they did. So this one is incorrect, which could lead people to think corn dogs was for sure the right one. Um, and yeah, that's what Arissa did. So it seems the corn dogs may have a link to the infection. Not if you take out Jamie's friends. That's a whole bunch of people that got infected and didn't have corn dogs. Let's see what Drake came up with. <laughs> Drake wants to figure this out so he can uh, uh, get cured. Drake seems to have made the same mistake with Jamie's friends. But Drake concluded that the stunt show has to be one of them. I have marked what the infected have done compared to clean citizens, and none of the citizens have done the stunt show. But Emily's sister didn't do the stunt show, meaning there's two causes. Jamie's friends did everything that I'm suspicious of, but they did it in a safe way. Great conclusions. Uh, and that is something important. You needed to figure out, of all the people who were interviewed, who were the infected and who weren't. So that was your first big task. So Drake's recommendations are the virus holders are the petting zoo and the stunt show. Not only humans can carry virus, but animals. Hey, we know that from COVID. God, came from bats. Uh, bird flu comes from birds. Swine flu comes from pigs. We see that in nature all the time. Uh, which is why the cough, cough, <laughs> virus started. And in the stunt show, there's seats used by one million, well, probably not, uh, different people, and they are not separated other than the arms of the chair, meaning that they're very close to each other, and it would take about six days to clean all of those seats perfectly. Great recommendations. Uh, so doing some good thinking here. Okay, Jack didn't make his recommendations or even get it done. What's up, Jack? Come on.
But Jackson concludes, I think it is from the mosquitoes because mosquitoes carry blood and they could have given some of the blood to you. That is so true. We get so many viruses and, and diseases from mosquitoes. Blood-borne pathogens because they bite one mammal, suck its blood, go bite another one because, you know, they're hungry. And they can transmit the first mammal's blood to the second mammal. And we're mammals, so they can give us all sorts of things. That's how you get malaria and, and yellow fever. Um... Even though not everyone said they did not get bitten by mosquitoes, they could have got bitten, but not have noticed or did not say anything. That's the tough thing. We have reports from interviews that people said, oh yeah, there were a lot of mosquitoes, but could there be people that get bit by mosquitoes and don't notice? I think there are. Not me, though. If I get bit by mosquitoes, which I do, if there are mosquitoes around, they're going to want my blood. I get so itchy and I get the huge uh, welts and I'm scratching till it bleeds. It's, it's crazy. So the mosquitoes, it's a tough one because we can't know for sure. But we got to go based on what we know for sure. Uh, so mosquitoes is a tough one. So Jackson's recommendation would be to wear coats and sweatshirts and bring mosquito repellent. That's a great recommendation if the mosquitoes are the culprit. Let's see what Zachary came up with. So Zachary said, I conclude that most of the infected people had corn dogs. Most, but not all. That is key. Went to the petting zoo, all right, and went to the bird show. Ooh. That means that one of the people who went to all three might be patient zero. Oh, good conclusion there. The information we need to figure out patient zero would be the exact day, the exact hour that they arrived at the fair or went to these places. That would tell us who the first person would be. Excellent. Here's what's tough. All we have is the interviews because what happened was they all went to the carnival, they went back home, and it took a while before the people who turned turned into zombies. And of course, once they're zombies, they left. That's why families woke up and people were missing. They didn't know what it was. Little did they know their family members turned into zombies and started walking like the walking dead. In this uh, planet, they think they were headed south for warmer climate because this zombie virus got rid of all their blood. And without blood, they can't keep their body warm. So, you know, that's what they're uh, hypothesizing. So, might be hard to get that data. All right, let's see who's next. Oliver, let's see what Oliver thinks. All right, so Oliver's got some data there. He took notes. Very, very nice. It's like a detective taking notes in their little notebook. So Oliver concludes, it seems that many people got infected from the birds and mosquitoes. I saw who did what and who didn't do what, and it seems to me that it is the petting zoo, and I believe the other ones are mosquitoes. His final recommendation is stay away from mosquitoes and animals until we people can figure, can find a cure for the zombie apocalypse. Awesome recommendation. And we'll have to come back to that petting zoo. But remember, mosquitoes, hard to tell because we're not sure exactly who got bit and who didn't. All right, let's see what Gracie says. Based on the evidence you could, oh, yeah, that's what I wrote. Uh, I collected evidence from the interviews to fill out a table, saw that mosquitoes and the petting zoo have been visited by the people that later got infected. And I have come to the conclusion that mosquitoes are carrying the virus and biting the animals at the petting zoo, but they have also been biting humans as well. That's a great conclusion, but the evidence is a little sketchy, so it's more like a hypothesis. You would need way more evidence to prove it. If we can get blood from a mosquito, blood from the animals in the petting zoo, might be able to trace it there. Shutting down the petting zoo, virus check the animals and insects, wear mosquito repellent, develop a vaccine, and most importantly, let the locals know. <gasps> awesome recommendations. Yeah. Way to go, Xander. All right. Now we got Gracie. Let's see what Gracie says. Based on the evidence you collected, what can you conclude? Oh, I believe the bird show because few people went to it. And now they are all infected. 
we'll have to double check your your facts there. Uh, it is the bird show. I was thinking it was the mosquitoes, but now I think it's the bird show. Okay, it's not really a recommendation, so we'll have to fix that. All right, let's see what Deacon came up with. What I think is that the corn dogs are where they're making people do this because in eight cases, almost every case said they ate corn dogs. Almost. But not all. Mm. My thoughts are that it is either the corn dogs or the rides because they had seven cases. And here's the worst part. Jamie ate corn dogs. Jamie didn't turn. That clearly rules out corn dogs. And your final recommendations is the corn dogs and the rides. Uh, but that's more of a conclusion, so you didn't really recommend what to do. All right, now we got Rosie. Let's see what Rosie says. The outbreak could be caused by the petting zoo or the corn dogs because most of the people who were infected went to the petting zoo or ate corn dogs. All right, if you think that, Rosie, we got to figure out which one's uh, uh, for sure it. Or if we can rule out one of one or the other, which we ruled out corn dogs. So if that leaves petting zoo, maybe that's the place. So your recommendations are stay away from the petting zoo and the corn dogs. Let's be safe, right? Get rid of those corn dogs. Um, even though now we know it's not them. We should also test the animals right on, especially if it was the petting zoo and the corn dogs to see if they have virus. Shut down the fair till the virus is fixed. Well, they they did. That's a great recommendation. Especially if you think it started there. Quarantine the town, shut down the fair for sure, or carnival. All right, and Mallory says it was the corn dogs because six people had them and got sick. Mm -mm, not the corn dogs. And that's it. So let's take a look at uh, who's right. Looks like petting zoo is, is the one people chose the most. Now, in order to explain, uh, what I did, I color-coded because otherwise I lose track of what I'm saying. So in yellow, I highlighted the people that were infected. So Henry's mom was talking about Henry, Tyler was talking about his kids, and so on and so forth. Those in white did not get infected. Now wherever you see a different color, it's, it's the column. So I got in rides, those people who had rides in common. Um, and, and if it's a different color, it's because, ooh, that could be uh, a cause. Now, Haunted House, nobody even came up with that because, yeah, Emily's sister and Andrew's family didn't go, and Michael went, didn't get infected, so not the Haunted House. Pony rides, not enough people. Games, not enough people. Pig race is not enough people, so you all ruled those out. Well done. Uh, but now let's go and see the ones that were close. So rides, you can see here that Ben and Nathan did the rides. They did not get infected. And Whitney's parents did not do the rides, and they were both infected. So rides couldn't be it. Corn dog, not only did Jamie eat the corn dogs and not get infected, Jamie's friends did not eat the corn dogs, and Corinne ate the corn dogs, so corn dogs ruled out. Now, some people thought it was the stunt show. Look, everybody who was infected except for Emily's sister went to the stunt show. Emily's sister. And Ben was there and wasn't infected, so stunt show ruled out. Now, a lot of people thought mosquitoes. Here's why mosquitoes are ruled out. Um, we're not sure if Henry got bit, but you're right, he could have gotten bit. Andrew's family, same thing. But here's the clincher. Corinne reports that she got eaten alive or bit by mosquitoes. She's not infected. Ooh. Rules out mosquitoes. Um, pig races. Yeah, not even close. Exotic bird show. We had Michael and Corinne went and Nathan. They did not get infected. So that leaves the petting zoo. Those of you who thought petting zoo, that place is by far the best bet. Look at this. Everyone who was infected, all of them, went to the petting zoo. The people who were not infected, none of them went to the petting zoo. 
So your ground zero is for sure the petting zoo. And guess what? Since Henry, Tyler's kids, Emily's sister, Andrew's families, Jamie's friends and Whitney's parents all went to the petting zoo and they all got zombified first in the entire planet, they are all patient zero. So we just need to round up those zombies and we know they were headed south. So we're on our way to coming up with a vaccine and the Achaeans will help us because we helped them. So there you have it, folks. That is the conclusion of the disease detectives, and that's how we're going to save Drake. Whew! That was a long one. All right. I hope you made it all the way to the end. That's, this is Mr. Gonzalez signing out.